Hi, I'm Lance Yolanoff, Editor-in-Chief of PCMag.com, and today I'm going to take my home computer from Windows Vista 32-bit to Windows 7 64-bit. This is the computer, and you can see it's running Vista. These are my peripherals. There's a printer. The hope is that this will go very, very smoothly. Now, I've done my best to back everything up to an iOmega half terabyte hard drive in my basement. You can see here that I've got uh, quite a few backup drives here. If you can see that, I've got my movies and I've got my photos. So, that, my documents, my settings. Everything is backed up, but I will have to reinstall some software. Install Microsoft Office, Norton Internet Security, Adobe Premiere Elements, and a list of other applications that I think I'm going to need. We're uh, about to get started. I'm obviously just a tiny bit nervous because in order to do 32-bit to 64-bit, you do have to wipe your whole computer and start over. Obviously, I'm going to need to pick up a lot of drivers and cross my fingers. I've opened up my Windows 7 pack and I have to uh, basically choose between one of these two disks. This is 32-bit, put it aside, and there's my 64-bit. Okay, <laughs> here we go. One of the things I wanted to test is uh, startup and shutdown time as compared to what I'm getting on my Windows Vista 32-bit system versus obviously Windows 7 64-bit. So we're going to run that little test first before we do the install. So it's a little bit hard to measure startup time on this system because of all the stuff I have installed. Um, it starts Windows Messenger, it starts power to go it starts Norton Internet Security, it starts the Verizon Fios Manager. So there's a lot of things that it has to go through. I have to assume that the 64-bit version initially is going to start much faster because there's nothing installed. Okay, I've stalled long enough. Time to install Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. Interesting to see uh, how it guides me through all this. If you can hear that, the sound of my <laughs> drive running. Well, <laughs> this is always fun. Good old Vista. <laughs> don't you, Microsoft, don't you know your own software? So, we're going to uh, allow it to do this. Allow. up I believe we're gonna have to start we're gonna have to boot our computer with that disk my mistake let's begin again okay we had a bit of a false start um, I forgot that in order to start over again and switch to a 64-bit operating system I have to actually boot from the DVD so I'm going to follow the instructions boot from the DVD and then we will begin the upgrade or reinstall process. Here we go. Last time shutting down is a 32-bit system. We'll restart with the disk in place and then walk through the process. Ready to go. I assume this could take a little while. You can see the, uh, the bar moving along. And I'll come back when it's done. Hopefully. Okay, it looks like we're about to enter the point of no return. So, let's take a look at the screen. Okay. That looks pretty good. English. English. U.S. Hit next. 
And this will begin the fun. Okay, I'm not nervous. Why should I be nervous? All right, I'm guessing we'll rejoin you when things get a little bit more interesting. Oh. We're going to, as usual, not read the terms because they're too long. And we're going to accept them. And we're going to hit next. Can't upgrade. Can't keep that. We're going to, we've already backed up our files. We're going to do custom advanced. I'll bring you in for a closer look. It's custom advanced. And click that. Okay, it's decision time. I've got a few partitions here. That. Now it's time to decide partition. I've got another partition and another part that's actually a uh, removable disk. I'm going to go for the system partition. That seems to be my best bet. I'm going whole hog here. I've backed everything up. This should work just fine. Okay, it looks like we're underway. Let's take a look. Clock is ticking. We'll see how long this takes. See you in a bit. So about 30 minutes into the installation. So far, no issues. This is the screen we're looking at. And I guess that's phase two. And if you look at the progress bar, we're pretty far along. So feeling pretty good right now. Interesting to see what comes back, what drivers I'm missing, and what issues I face. So here we go. All right starting up for the first time let's check in my video performance so far so good nothing odd going on down here everything seems to be moving smoothly so far so good good news we've got this screen I'm gonna type in my name and give my computer a name things are going smoothly I'm gonna use the recommended settings here let's take a look This is looking very good. Gentlemen, I think we're in business. Looks like we're done here. Now it's time to install all my apps and see if there are any driver issues. Okay, a couple of minor surprises. Uh, one, it didn't uh, clear out all the data from one of my partitions, so that's nearly full. Um, I'll need to clean that up. Uh, also, it doesn't know it's on a network yet, so I've got to help it go through that. So we're gonna connect to a network. Hopefully that'll work smoothly. Interestingly enough, it's only seeing the wireless connection. So let's, shall we set up a network connection? I think we shall. Fun fact about the uh, Windows 7 64-bit installation process though it is a custom install and I thought the whole system would be wiped it actually created as it said it would a windows.old file which um, saved everything um, so it kind of created a backup on the fly which is in some ways made things easier it also left um, a partition untouched which had a whole bunch of my videos so now I'm doing a little bit of cleanup but so far it's uh, looking pretty good. Let's just for kicks try uh, getting everything out of the way here. I love that stuff. <laughs> 